Hi, I'm Tulsi Noreen, Solution Engineer with Datto. In this video, I'll discuss the file restore options that exist locally on the Datto BCDR appliance and those in the Cloud Recovery Launchpad. The Datto appliance and the Recovery Launchpad makes recovering of data simple in a non-destructive way. Let's look at an overview at the possible file restore options. For agent and agentless backups, the Datto appliance allow for a file and folder level restore through the SMB protocol. The partner can copy and paste the UNC path provided via the restore into a Windows File Explorer window. Also available is the download files and folders right through the browser, the native console of the BCDR appliance. Partners may wish to take advantage of restoring files and folders utilizing the volume restore method. This method involves mounting the snapshot on the appliance as a block storage controller. The partner can take the IQN path and initialize it as a volume through the Windows iSCSI initiator. Windows File Explorer can once again be used to perform the restore of data. Partners have two options when utilizing the recovery launchpad for remote files and folder level restore. First, utilizing the web browser to download selected files and folders. And second, to utilize secure FTP on the client device for the case where a large number of files and folders are required to be downloaded. Let's pivot and look at how to perform each of these restores. To perform a file restore on the local appliance, first, we navigate to the Restore tab. Select the system and snapshot from the right. We proceed by clicking on Start Restore. On this screen, we are presented with the option to mount the snapshot as a Samba and web share on the appliance. Clicking on Mount exposes the snapshot to be accessed by Samba and the web. To access the Samba share, copy the URL path and paste it in Windows File Explorer. Contents of the share, in this case the e-volume, can be copied and pasted into the destination of choice. Heading back into the Appliance Console, this time we'll access data by the web share. Similarly to before, the volumes can be browsed and files and folders can be downloaded directly utilizing HTTPS. Next, we'll take a look at restoring data utilizing the volume restore option. From the Restore tab, we'll navigate to the system of interest, select the volume restore option, then select the snapshot and click on Start Restore. On the Restore screen, select Generate Target. This process exposes the snapshot as a block storage device that is in read-only mode. In Windows, start the iSCSI Initiator Utility and look for the Discover Targets. If you don't see the target in the list, you'll want to add the IP address in the Target field. Connecting to the Discovery Target will connect to the block storage on the appliance. The volumes that were protected in the snapshot are now available to be copied from. Please note, if you have not seen the volume after a few seconds, you may want to perform a refresh in the Windows Explorer view or access the Windows Disk Manager and online the disk. Accessing the volumes, in this case volume E, I'm able to perform a copy and paste and preserve the contents permissions. Let's pivot from the appliance and look at the files and folder level recovery possible with the recovery launchpad. From the status page, navigate to the Recovery Launchpad. Select to start a file restore. From the left, choose a system and a recovery point, and then click the Create File Restore button. Mounting the file restore may take a few seconds. Once the restore point is mounted, click on the Cloud Restore icon. This model presents two options, Secure FTP and WebLink. We'll explore the web link first. This is an HTTPS download option of any content in a snapshot. Clicking on the Launch File Browser creates a new browser tab listing the volumes. From here, each volume can be browsed and content is downloaded onto the user's machine. Moving back to the previous tab, we can explore the secure FTP option. I'll be utilizing FileZilla because it's a free utility and easy to use. Start the FileZilla client and copy and paste the connection information and password to initiate an FTP session. 
With the session initiated, you're now able to drag and drop from the right to the left. If your use case is to download hundreds of files and folders from the cloud, FileZilla is a useful tool to streamline this process, as it allows for data to be copied and queued for execution. This concludes the file restore process on the local appliance and data cloud. I hope you found this video useful and informative. Thank you for watching.